and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. For those of you that are watching the video the day that I post it, I want to tell you guys Happy Easter. Um, this video is not necessarily going to be a discussion. It's going to be me showing you guys something, um, somewhat of my Frankenstein gun. And I say that because I've kind of just pieced this thing together, something that I carry, I would say, 90% of the time. And um, I kind of just went out on a limb with this and just started building and creating this gun um, when parts first became available so the, the barrel that I got for this gun was the first one that I know of that was available I bought it right when it came out same thing with the compensator on this gun when I bought this compensator it was the only compensator that I could find online that was even available um, for this gun that actually fit it properly and now there's just parts left and right so it is an older model gun um, it isn't too old, but a little bit older model gun. There's newer stuff that's been out. But this is something I continue to work on and continue to kind of play with. <coughs> and I saw a picture online um, a while back, and it kind of piqued my interest. Now, it looked kind of funny to me, but at the same time, it just seemed practical. I don't carry a really big gun on me most of the time. I do have a, a Glock 17. I have Glock 22s. I have bigger guns. I have 1911s. You know, I have all these... Um, compact guns, full size guns, you know, subcompact guns, stuff like that. But I tend to not carry a bigger gun. So kind of summed up, I had some parts that were on my Glock 17. I made a video probably about a year ago and it was titled my version of a Roland special. And what that was was I had my Glock 17. Um now let, let me backtrack real quick. So what a Roland special is typically it is a Glock 19 with a uh, Trigicon RMR on it. It's got a threaded barrel with a compensator on it. And then it usually has the uh, Surefire X300 series light on it. But there's guys that run the TLRs and stuff like that. And it usually has you know upgraded internals as well as a magwell. That is your standard for a Roland Special. Now, if you guys want to know more information as far as that goes, you can go on YouTube and search Roland Special. And there's videos as far as the whole history of how the Roland Special was even created and thought of and stuff like that, how long it's been around, and um, it's kind of it was kind of a gimmick thing. A lot of people call them Gucci Glocks, Glocks that are just done up, top to bottom. Um, Glock is a very good, reliable gun. The only thing I'm not a fan of, as far as my Glocks are concerned, is I'm not a fan of the triggers. Now, there's nothing wrong with them. I've never had any actual mechanical issues with them, but as far as the feel of them. I'm just not a, a huge fan as far as the stock Glock trigger. So that's something that I always change out and I always upgrade. But these guys that fully customize Glocks, me being one of them, um, that's what they're called, Gucci Glocks. And the, the Roland Specials came out. And when they first came out, there was so much talk about why do you need this? Why do you need that? Why do you need a red dot? Why do you need a light? Why do you need a compensator? And there was so many people just kind of talking bad about that style of gun. Now... For gun guys, you know that different guns serve different purposes. The Roland Special kind of just became the ideal, you know, go-to, I want to make my Glock look like that. Very functional as far as I'm concerned. The Red Dot, when you learn how to use a Red Dot and you get on target, it's just amazing. It's so much easier to acquire that target. And as soon as that dot's on there, you start pulling that trigger and you're good. It's a lot easier, um, in my personal opinion, then acquiring the sights, lining them up, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, same thing with the compensator. You have a compensator, you have that recoil that, you know, the gun kicks up and it mitigates that recoil, it keeps that gun from kicking up. I primarily work at, at nighttime, so I'm moving around a lot at nighttime. So I prefer to have a light on most, if not all, of my guns. So that was another thing. Um, the flared out magwell. Some people say that, that it helps. I have a flared out magwell on my Glock 17. Had one on um, a couple other guns, but that's the only thing that I don't have on this gun. Now, is it easier? Honestly, I don't know. I, ha I haven't noticed that big a difference as far as loading, reloading um, my Glock 17 with a flared out magwell, but it's just another component that goes into it. Now, with that being said, I had the Glock 17. Like, I, you know, let me go back to that. I had the Glock 17. And it was titled my version of the Roland Special, and it had a Duke Defense plate on there. And for those of you, and I think I'm saying that correctly, for those of you who don't know what that is, it slides in to where the the dovetail or the the rear sight would be on a Glock. 
so that you don't have to have a milled out site or uh, sorry a milled out slide and then at that point depending on which mount you have you can mount a red dot on top of that and it's still somewhat pricey but you don't have to worry about sending your slide out um, if you don't want to mill out your slide I know there's a lot of people that like to keep the stock parts me being one of them if I don't have to make major changes on my gun then I usually don't um, so I had that Duke Defense piece sitting in my safe um, because I took apart my Glock 17 and I turned it into the uh, CAA MCK the micro conversion kit that Glock is now in that and that's just dedicated to that thing so I had this red dot that I put on that CAA and I thought mm, I have other red dots that I'm gonna put on that so I had a red dot sitting there I had the mount sitting there I have my everyday carry gun and I prefer the red dot I really do um, after shooting it for a while and having it for a while once you learn how to come up flat as far as on your slide and you acquire that red dot it's just amazing so I'm gonna quit talking we're six minutes into this video and I still have not shown you guys a gun so this is what I'm talking about this is I don't really even have a name for it yet the only thing that this thing is missing it has a light it's actually it's actually a light and laser combo I'm just not a huge fan of lasers so I don't have the laser on um, when I'm using it this is the uh, man I gotta remember names right now I believe this is the Texas Black Rifle Company compensator I got a silencer co threaded barrel on there I did have um, upgraded fiber optic sights I believe they were from True Glow, but of course I obviously removed the rear one. Still have the front one on there. It's red. The rear was green. I have the Vortex Viper red dot now on this thing. And it's mounted, like I said, with that Duke Defense plate that slides in right here in the dovetail. And then it has the rear, or not rear, well it has a rear and a front sight. Backup sights built in to that plate right there. Um, now I will tell you before we go over the rest of the parts in the gun, without pointing this at myself, if you look at this here and here, it sits wider than the slide. Um, this is a Glock 43. Now for those of you safety freaks out there, there is a magazine inserted, but the gun is clear. But this plate was designed for your standard size Glock, not for a Glock 43. There are different plates out there for this, there's different red dots out there for this but I had this sitting around and I just thought to myself why not I think this quarantine has me just wanting to play with things I've been moving things around on different guns trying different things and just trying to see you know is this possible and like I said I saw a picture and if I remember I'll put that picture in this video I saw a picture and I was just like that's intriguing you know that has my attention and usually when I see stuff I want to try it I want to see like can this work will this work and, um, and that's how I got into this. So from there, like I said, top to bottom, I have, this is just a Hive Technologies rear plate. It's a Hive Technologies uh, mag release. Also Hive Technologies Monarch trigger. Um, as far as your slide catch, all those small internal parts are still the same. It has a ghost connector in it. I have a stainless steel um, heavier spring on there for recoil mitigation. I have the TLR6, like I said, laser light combo. I talked about this in a different video. I have the Talon grip on there, the rubberized version. I keep that on all of my guns. And then for my base plates, I run the Terran Tactical. I believe this one's a plus two and I have a plus three for a backup mag. This is a um, six round magazine. So essentially this turns into an eight round mag with one in the chamber. It's a nine round gun as it sits. And then I have another um, nine round sitting in another magazine as my backup magazine so 18 rounds not horrible and um, that's it you know like I said I carry this gun 90% of the time I like it because it's small and I know by adding this I've made it taller by adding the commentator I've made it longer um, by adding the extended mag I've you know made that longer the laser light combo made that thicker but at the end of the day I mean it's still a very small package it is essentially, you know, my, my second version. This is the 2.0 as far as from my collection of a Roland Special. The only thing that I have not seen and I don't have is a flared out magwell for the Glock 43. Um, I don't know if they even make them. If you guys know of any or if you've seen any, whatever, comment down below. Leave it down there. Um, 
and maybe that's something we'll put on here we'll try it I just put this on today and this is the day before you guys are watching this video the day before Easter and I'm telling you the way it feels in my hand the weight isn't horrible um, as far as adding the red dot and, and the plate on there like I said I have a, a heavier spring uh, guide rod in there so as far as recoil and stuff it should be no issue for firing you know with the added weight on top and I have to tell you guys I like the look of this when I first saw the picture I thought it was kinda goofy and I thought maybe I can do that because I have the parts sitting around but after it's put back together I, I can't even lie I really I really like this I mean I enjoy carrying a red dot normally I enjoy carrying a small gun I enjoy carrying nine millimeter and this gun has everything that I need you know these guns are really snappy they kick really easy so the compensator actually does make a pretty big difference with the added weight as well as the ports on the top um, maybe even the added weight of the uh, the red dot and the the plate on there will even help with the recoil mitigation but I just had to show you guys this what do you guys think about we're gonna call this for now the Roland Mini um, if you guys have any other names or a better idea of what we should call this comment down below let me know but for right now I'm gonna call this the Roland Mini this is just I'm, I'm excited I can't even tell this is a gun that I've already had a sight I've already had just not in this combination so it's got me pumped up like it's a brand new gun again anyways I wanted to show you guys this this is what I'm messing with right now this is going to be my EDC I know I need to go and uh, get this red dot sighted in I actually have a laser um, cartridge and I've put out videos in the past of how I use that to sight in red dots to sight in you know just regular sights to sight in lasers and if you guys want to see that comment down below and I'll show you guys again I'll make another video maybe of me sighting this in with that uh, laser cart cartridge and um, man I gotta tell you this this thing is, is nice to me right now this thing the good thing is so in, a, in my past videos I've talked about my buddy Levi at Concho Valley Custom Kydex and I'm gonna continue to bring his name up because I put this plate on my gun I put this red dot on my gun and the holster he made me it still fits in there perfect so I'm gonna leave it at that thank you guys for checking out this video comment down below and I'll see you on the next one